Hey good people, it is Tashara Politics and Fashion here today with a video that I think y'all are really going to enjoy. It is about the only, yes I said only, jackets that you need for fall. These are the pieces that as I said before are going to take you from basic to bust down this season. They are great layering pieces, okay? They are great ways to accentuate what you already have in your closet. So if that sounds good to you, make sure you watch all the way to the end so you don't miss a category or a suggestion. You are subscribed to my channel. Follow me over on Instagram, girl, for some just daily style inspiration and, 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 and rants and just a, a documentary talk. All the good stuff is over on Instagram, okay? And let's get started. First up, as usual, of course I want to share with you my OOTD. Today I am wearing this brand new sweater. It's kind of like color blocked, um, white and black obviously. It is from And Other Stories. It's oversized. I love how long the sleeves are. Y'all, I have very long arms. So if you are getting this and you don't want it to be oversized, I say size down. I am wearing a size medium, but you could also just very easily cuff the sleeves as well. Um, I am wearing on my wrist my free maiden bangles here. I have talked to Rashana of Free Maiden. She is coming out with a drop of new pieces very soon before the end of the year. Y'all will be the first to know, I promise you, because I know I talk about Free Maiden all the time and she doesn't have a lot of pieces currently on her website. But that's about to change because we are supporting black woman owned businesses over here, okay? So I'll keep y'all posted because the earrings today are also from Free Maiden. I absolutely love just the organic vibe and feel of these. You have seen them before in my jewelry collection video. I'll make sure I link that down below, okay? I am wearing my Christian Dior brooch here. This is, I think, the 30 Montaigne brooch. I've linked it before. I'll make sure I do so today. A pair of high-waisted denim, and that is a lay look, girl. So let's talk about these jackets, shall we? The first jacket is the good old moto. It's a good old moto jacket. Now, I shared with y'all in my pre-fall haul that I splurged and got myself my first real leather motorcycle jacket. And the reason I went for this is because it has gold hardware and it is so difficult to find a jacket with gold hardware, a moto jacket specifically. I got this one on sale at Bottega, um, but I have seen similar ones with gold hardware from Anina Bing, for example, and other kind of like mid-range designers, and so I will link everything that I can find that is similar to this one down below because she is a beauty girl. I'm talking about just the substantialness and the thickness of the zippers, for example, and just all of the hardware on it. I am absolutely in love and the detail here on the sleeve and just how thick that gold zipper is as well it almost feels like when you are wearing a moto jacket and I think because of just the all of the zippers I don't care if it's silver or gold it feels like you are wearing an additional kind of set of jewelry if that makes any sense and if you're someone who likes to keep your jewelry very minimal the hardware on a moto jacket can just do the daggone thing. Now, I'm the kind of person y'all know that loves to cape my jackets. This jacket worn over my shoulders just feels so good. It fits my shoulders like a glove. You know, it doesn't just slide off. I could do a little bit of a little bit of one two hit them with the heat tie bow if I had to. Okay, somebody said to me that jacket falls off of you or something like that when I was talking about caping a blazer, or caping a jacket, and I was like, uh, no, actually, it doesn't. <laughs> So I love the fact of just caping it. As you can see, this one is cropped. Um, if I was being fully honest with you, I went for this jacket because of the hardware. I don't have anything else in my collection or in my closet that is cropped just because I am almost six feet tall. So I don't know if I would, if I had the option to purchase one that was full length, I would have purchased one that was full length. So my recommendation to you is do whatever feels good to you, whatever works with your wardrobe and your body type. However, I think when I do wear pieces that are longer, this one still works, all right? So, 
a moto jacket for this season is just gonna do the daggone thing I really feel like this works well either dressed up or dressed down for example I wore to my aunt's birthday party like a um a satin silk blend dress that was kind of short uh volume sleeves and i just put this on top and it helped to bring some edge to something that was very dressy and that's the dope part about a moto jacket if you were going out to dinner for example or to a special event and you feel like well i'm dressed up but i want to give my outfit more of an edge a moto jacket is going to do it you run into Home Depot, you run into Old Navy, and you just also want to kind of give a little pizzazz to your outfit. You're wearing maybe a pair of Converse, a pair of high-waisted denim, and a t-shirt throw on a moto jacket it is so many ways to wear it until I really feel like it is the piece in your wardrobe that is going to keep on giving so that is the first jacket that I am going to say you need for fall next up are shackets yes shirts slash jackets we put that together girl it is now a style category of its own and I love me a good old shacket if you are not new, new to these parts and you have seen both of these shackets before this one is from H&M it's kind of a felt feels like wool almost just very thick fabric I love this one I've worn it with skirts I've worn it with denim I've worn it with the matching pants that go along with it and then I have this one which is a little bit older from Zara it is a faux leather jacket buttons down the front kind of like a cargo style shirt um, and I think they are both very great layering pieces these were very affordable both of them were under $40 there are so many jackets that we could find either premium brands or on the high street but the good part about a jacket is once again it is all about the layering I could easily see something like this with a tank underneath it wear this open and then maybe take a blazer or the moto jacket um, over my shoulders put on a great pair of denim and a nice Chelsea boot right so it gives you that additional layering piece without being too bulky or depending on where you live and what the temperatures are you may be able to just wear the jacket by itself for example today in DC it is about 55 degrees or so so I just went outside walked the dog I had a t-shirt on under this thicker jacket and that was all I needed so it's a good way to be stylish and not have a lot of like bulk to your layers that you need going into cooler temperatures I'll make sure I link some of my favorite jackets down below I don't think these two are available but if you follow me over on Instagram you'll see a lot of style inspiration around these two pieces and things that are similar all fall long next up you already know it's a good old blazer it's a good old blazer now I shared with y'all in my uh, luxury minimalism video that I have this Saint Laurent blazer which is the blazer of all blazers that keeps on giving blazers and as a result I only need one and when I say I only need one I only need one black blazer so let me share this with y'all this is the lace smoking blazer this one is pricey um, and so I'll make sure I link a lot of different options down below, including brands that are more size inclusive than Saint Laurent. But one of the reasons why this is an iconic blazer is because of the silk lapels, the silk cover buttons, and it's also a long line blazer, which is great too. And so I would say that as you are looking for blazers for fall, if you don't already have one in your wardrobe, what you want to keep in mind is the length. Crop blazers are great, especially if you were trying to go for a particular style moment. But for something that's going to be the workhorse in your wardrobe and just a key basic, you probably want to go for something that's a little bit longer line, depending on your height, maybe even something that kind of falls right to the top of your butt or you know goes below your waist of course or maybe even a little bit longer depending on kind of how trendy you want to be but the goal is to have something that is going to be able to work on its own by that I mean oftentimes when we are wearing blazers this time of year we're not going to also put a coat on top of it right and so what we want is something that we feel like can be stylish and also warm and just be a classic piece to kind of that smart casual dressing that I am such a big fan of so first black blazer Saint Laurent we, we she's mine and we gonna keep her okay and then I have this kind of newish blazer that I got over the summer from Vince from the Vince outlet in Orlando it is the only kind of tan color blazer that I have that's a lie I have one that's linen but 
it's the only one in this material um, that is this tan color. I love this with the Dior brooch just on the lapel, probably with a um, turtleneck underneath and like some faux leather pants or a faux leather skirt, a cute little knee boot girl. This would be such a cute date night outfit or it could be a really cute outfit to wear to the movies if we put on a pair of jeans, for example, and maybe like a loafer with it. But again, a black blazer, a tan blazer, these are the perfect kind of jackets for your wardrobe for this time of year. And then what would this time of year be without a trench coat, girl? What I, what, what would it be? Where would I be without my trench coat? Like, where would we be? Um, I don't have a traditional trench coat, though. I don't know why. I don't particularly care for them. They give me Inspector Gadget vibes. But when I see other people style them, they're so cute. I just can't get into it in my wardrobe, okay? So y'all tell me down below how you feel about trench coats and who makes some great ones. I want to share this one with you with, that is a bit non-traditional but still gets the job done. I actually tend to wear it more as a top, I'll insert a picture here, um, than as a kind of layering piece, but it could also be a layering piece and I'll make sure I style that up for you as well. So it's by a company called Awake Mode. It's from Awake Mode. Awake Mode, um, I caught this on like a 70% off sale at a boutique in Dallas called 4510. And I'll be honest with you, since then I have wanted to invest in some other Awake Mode pieces, but the price gotta be right, okay? Because they can be a little pricey. But I see why, because get into, girl, do you see the slits on the bottom of the trench? This is the kind of piece that's legacy, honey. Like you pass this down to people in your family, your children, your godchildren, your son, your daughter. Like someone needs to get this because we can't let this one just fade off into the dark. She's a moment, okay? I love just the like four or five buttons that are down the front that I usually button and I leave the rest of it open. It's about a three quarter length sleeve and it also fits off the shoulder, which is why I believe it's such a good piece as a shirt, right? I just put on a strapless bra, something that's a bit high waisted, I'm out the door and everybody is like, oh my God, girl, what you, ooh, wow, that's so, where you get that from, girl? everybody when I tell you she eats sis eight um and so maybe that's my biggest recommendation with trench coats you know in order to not give inspector gadget realness why don't we go for something that's a little bit different more avant-garde um an interesting silhouette and so I will link some of my favorites that fit into that category down below I have not been able to find this awake mode piece but if I can girl she will be linked down below as well and the last category for the only jackets you need for fall is a good colored piece. I'm going to say colored or patterned, okay? Because this is going to be that pop to your wardrobe. This is going to be when you are wearing darker colors as we tend to do this time of year and you still want to have some fun with your style. You're going to go towards a pattern or you're going to go towards a color. Now, Baby Blue has been like the it color um, since really last year, maybe even the year before. Nothing has changed this year. Baby Blue with chocolate is like my favorite hands down color combination. I'm probably styling this coat with my chocolate dress from Jocelyn Studio just to kind of highlight that point about how well these two colors pa pair together. But also I think about that um, winter bright trend that I shared with you all a few videos ago. That trend really lends itself towards color blocking and so I don't think it even has to be more of like a neutral color or a dark color, brown, black, navy, for example, gray. I think you could also go with a bright color and mix it with a bright coat. Think about just the deliciousness of this coat with pink. With orange. With green. Think, just, just think about that. So as you're going for those colored jackets, please, please keep in mind that it does not have to be worn with a neutral. Girl, get out here, have some fun, and mix that thing up. Now, this one is from Sandro. 
The only beef I have with this one in particular is that it's not lined. And so it truly is a piece to be worn this time of year. If the temperature, I mean, I'm cold nature just naturally I'm from Florida so if the temperature drops probably below 60 55 this ain't gonna keep you warm girl this is just like a style piece um, it is a wool and cashmere blend so I'm surprised that it's not warmer but again you know some things are, are, are just for style <laughs> and not for warmth and this is one of them uh, but the color is just d delicious I love the texture of it it's one of my favorite things that I own and I'm also a really big Sandro fan um, so when I saw it I had to have it and you know what else would really go well with this hold on I saw this out the corner of my eye and remember I talked to you all about scarves as luxury investments for this time of year. Imagine a colored coat with a nice patterned scarf. Who gonna check you? Who? You're in the carpool line, okay? You get out because you gotta go find Mackenzie. You don't see her. So you get out the car, you throw on your coat and your scarf, Hastily, it's not a big deal. You just happen to have a Dior scarf and a uh, colored coat in the back seat. You throw it on. You walk up to find Mackenzie. All the kids say, "Oh my God, Mackenzie, is that your mom?" Of course they do, because you've shut down Stephen J. Smith Elementary School. That's what you've done with this combination, and uh, I'm just here for it. All right, because no child left behind. All right, y'all, so that is it for today's video. Short and sweet. I feel like I got to the point pretty quickly with this one, all right? So it is all about, once again, those jackets that you need for fall. What did I miss? Please let me know down below. I would love to hear your thoughts. Again, all links will be down below, and I will see y'all across the internet. Peace.